Hey, welcome back. Uh, so, I've had a lot of questions uh, that have been wonderful, and then I've had a lot of follow-up questions that have said, please talk about your product. Um, <laughs> don't make me sing. Uh, yes, so I will <laughs> twist my arm. I will talk, okay, my cats are just gonna be everywhere and on doing everything right now. Um, so I'm gonna talk about my products. Uh, we're gonna start with the cleanser. Uh, it is when I moved into working with a manufacturer, it is the first cleanser I created. It's something that I've had in my head for a while. So the first product is Plie Treatment Cleanser. Voilà. Oh God, focus. Voila. I don't even know if that's focused. Uh, this is a gel to oil formula which is starting to take some weight in the industry now and, and more companies are formulating it. Uh, mine was initially made to really be a great gentle cleanser but a super thorough makeup remover. Uh, when I danced, and the reason I'm essentially in the skincare industry is I would use makeup wipes. Little did I know I was just getting off surface makeup and the pore was filled with makeup, dirt, oil, grime, debris, sweat. I would break out, I was confused, I would go and start using products and, and long story short, that's how I got into the skincare industry. Uh, I think it was two years ago, a principal dancer at Pacific Northwest Ballet came in for a facial after a long run of uh, performance and uh, she had been using makeup wipes and her skin looked fine. And I did something called ultrasonic exfoliation. Uh, and as I did it, the dirt and oil that it was pushing out of the pores was actually the color of her makeup, which to me, immediately, I knew that I had to come up with something. Um, and there's many cleansers out there on the market that, that melt away makeup and, and remove it thoroughly. Um, but I wanted to do something that really got in the skin, that was easy to use, and that also had other benefits to it. So I call it a treatment cleanser. It's gel to oil. Olive, jojoba, and grapeseed oils are the oils that are going to dissolve the makeup, SPF, dirt, and grime, purge the pores, it rinses clean, but it's not overly... You don't feel stripped and dry afterwards, and a big thing with that is when you're using emulsifiers in an oil-based formula, you don't want to feel squeaky clean afterwards. At, at times you can get into something called the washout effect, which actually is emulsifiers staying on the surface of the skin continuing to emulsify the skin's own natural oil and water, which breaks down the barrier and exacerbates something called tool transepidermal water loss. Um, so that is something that you should think about. Uh, it's something I learned in a class on cornea therapy, which is keeping the barrier of the skin intact, which we've become really good at not doing that. Um, so when you use this cleanser, it really feels like a treat. There's fruit acids, lemon, orange, apple, sugar cane, a little bit of willow bark. So you have your salicylic and your citric acids, and your glycolic acids, and they're dissolving the dead skin, clearing out the pores, leaving this smooth, radiant complexion, while the olive, jojoba, and grapeseed are dissolving makeup, dirt, oil, and grime. Um, smells wonderful, it's super easy to use, it's in a tube that is three ounces so you can travel with it in your carry-on or you can put it in your checked bag. Um, it's wonderful at removing SPF and makeup, it's been proven and used by most of Pacific Northwest Ballet and some of American Ballet Theater and some of New York City Ballet. Um, so it has run the gamut in terms of people who really wear long wear makeup and removing it, removing it thoroughly and creating a healthy complexion. Uh, it's Julia Stiles' favorite cleanser. Uh, and that is Plie, treatment cleanser. I hope you guys like it.